Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis in which I truly believe this is going to be one of the most important videos that I have ever made on this channel. We are going to be talking about the potential bear market here on Bitcoin after rejecting from our massive $69,000 level of resistance. We have seen a significant pullback here on the Bitcoin chart and in today's video I'm going to keep this really focused and professional because I want to be talking through how we can actually be trading this right now. There is a reoccurring pattern on this chart ever since this high has been put in. And if we continue this pattern, well, even with price dropping, we can remain calm, collected, and trade what is happening. I know, you know, even mentioning the word bear market is going to ignite some fear in people, but I want to show you there's no need to be fearful. There's no need to be scared. If we trade the charts for what they are, we can make money when price is going down. We can make money when price is going up. It is a trade at the end of the day. And even if you are only a spot holder, I suppose, it's good to be aware of the significant important levels of support to the downside. And obviously the resistance above us that we can be looking at. You know, it's very important to be aware of these levels because they are of utmost importance right now. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to say this. I'm producing this video today for you. I'm producing and explaining the thought processes and the analysis that I have to assist you. I'm not going to ask for anything apart from one thing. Okay, so I'm not going to ask for likes. I'm not going to ask for shares. I'm going to ask one thing, and that is that you pay full attention. Okay, pay attention. Block out all distractions around you. Get out a notepad. Write down some notes of what I'm saying here, because I truly believe that this video is going to be very important and it is going to educate you greatly of how you can make decisions coming up here in the future for Bitcoin and any other asset, I suppose, because we trade it all the same way. So please, this video is going to be a little bit longer than usual, but it is going to be worth your time. OK, so block out the time to watch this video. And by the end of it, I think you're going to be very pleased and happy and confident trading Bitcoin coming into the future. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, hope that you enjoy. And let's begin with what we love. And that is obviously the technical analysis here on Bitcoin. We love the trades. So starting off with obviously the factor of bear market. I would always say this. If we want to trade successfully, we need to understand why price is here, why price is bouncing here and the way that price has come down to this level. If we just go straight into a chart, we look at this and we have no acknowledgement or no understanding of why price is here, why it's where it's retraced from, our important levels of support and resistance that have been in play, we are going to fail. We have to do a prior bit of work on the past action to understand how to trade this now going forwards. So, of course, in this video, I will be explaining future targets and how we're trading this. But as normal, I am going to explain this section here. So we can just get a real grasp of the understanding of why we're down at this level and what we then look for next. So without further said or do, let's get into explaining in detail this $69,000 level. This is obviously the absolute high thus far of the potential current cycle. It's a very important level indeed. And I like this post on, from, from <laughs> I like this post from Luis on, on Twitter. So I am going to read it. And uh, Ed says, uh, this is pure genius. On the 27th of December, 2020, with Bitcoin at $27,000, Daniel myself made a prediction that Bitcoin would reach $69,000, not $50,000, not $75,000, not $100,000, but $69,000. On the 10th of November, 2021, almost one year later, Bitcoin hit $69,000 on Bybit. CC, simply the best. So I want to explain in a bit of detail here. Um, obviously, I've not talked in great, great, great detail in a public video about this. Obviously, in members' videos, I've gone into more depth. But uh, here, for the public, obviously, I've mentioned 69K before it was hit. That was my next level of resistance, obviously, when we were trading the harmonic back here. And I want to just e emphasize for everybody so they're aware of this because it is now actually a very significant level. Like, what, what was this? What were we looking at here? You can obviously see there was two factors of why I was looking at $69,000. Almost, yes, one, one year before it happened. Uh, back in December 2020. Factor number one was an Elliott wave count where I obviously had a wave one, two, 
the third wave looking for the upside before we obviously form a wave four and a five. And then how do we get high term time frame, significant levels of targets for Elliott waves? Well, so it's combining that with Fibonacci. So once we've got our wave one and wave two, we can start to get the highest 1.618 Fibonacci extension target. And that was $69,000. I will now show you a post also from within the group. Again, you can see here, back in the champion section on the 27th of December 2020, um, you know, as we were breaking up there at $27,000, saying that Fibonacci, that major target sits at $69,000. Obviously still 150% away, <laughs> a lot of millionaires and lives to be changed since, you know, till we reach that target. But let's not forget that. Ever since that day, I had my alert and $69,000 and it was just a, a game of patience. Like it was truly just a game of patience. So almost one year later, what happens? Well, obviously on that 10th of November, we start to get closer and closer and closer. Obviously on the day we had that um, Gartley harmonic target, which took the daily and brought us up to that level we were waiting for of $69,000. And then it's a simple case of having made that plan, Having an alert go off, which was set almost a year ago, but having the alert go off, reminding myself, okay, this is the level that we've been waiting for. We have seen a significant reaction. And I will actually explain something quite interesting for you. Obviously, once we hit that level, I'll show you this. I was able to fill a limit order at, <laughs> funny, funny, at $69,000 exactly. And if you check the timestamp, this was actually after the original wick and then getting a refill on this. Okay, uh, that was the order creation time, actually. I can do another one with, with the fill screen. Um, and you can see here, this was, this was posted confirming my short entry at, at 2.40 UK time. 2.40 UK time, okay? Obviously on that 10th of November. That was after we had only hit that original wick, okay? So from 2.40, people knew that I was waiting for $69,000. <laughs> and then I confirm I'm in the short position, you know? Wouldn't it be funny if uh, th th this was the cycle high? Well, kind of it might be. Um, but there, this is, this is the really important thing. If you didn't have the confidence to limit into this, I actually limited into the short and then took several big market short positions to aid price in coming down. But you can see from, from 240, where was the highest probability trade? Well, three hour, you know, almost three hours later then at 1752, after rejecting at $69,000, we drop and we get the retest of the CC. And this is where we can say was the ultra high probability trade. If you were too scared or missed the first short position, I confirm 69K short is in. And then a few hours later, we are gifted the retest of the CC. And this is on a relatively low term time frame. But you are, you know, you have confidence of me saying this is a target. You have the confidence of me acknowledging now I've actually taken the short. And you have even added more confidence for me posting the CC level here of saying, you know, what more do you want? What more do you need? And this is this is the level. OK, and we can really then start to see when we add on our analysis here, we come back into the lower term time frames you know, how this really progressed. That was the 69K thousand, you know, $69,000 level. That's the retest of the CC. And that was when we had our big drop. Okay. Well, big drop, obviously, it's nothing to what we, we saw in the coming days. But I hope that's fully explained why we put in the high where we did. It was all to do with Elliott Waves and Fibonacci. And in my opinion, that is totally undeniable. So with that explained, I want to now show and explain to you the pattern that is occurring on this current downtrend. And this is a pattern of flipping support into resistance. Quite simple stuff, and I'm gonna let you visualize this now. So you can see here, obviously, from the original high, we dropped down. And what did we do? We come back and we retested the old, you can see here, support, support on a daily, obviously around that CC. We go from high to low, we come into that daily level of resistance. Okay, so we are flipping here, support into resistance. And what happens? We get another move to the downside. So that's the first thing to write down. Currently, on the medium term time frame, we are flipping support into resistance. Write this down because this is a really important thing to remember. Okay, let's say you missed this short position and then you somehow miss this short position as well well then you know you, you have to remember if you miss a trade it's okay you just need to be prepared to take the next one 
And this is obviously now from yesterday. Well, where was the next short position that you could have taken yesterday? And that was obviously from the harmonic high that we had. So obviously, high being put in 1.30 a.m. I explained this one yesterday. We put in the high at 1.30 a.m. And what did we have at that time? We had a swing failure pattern on to the, you know, the value area highs with our uh, swing failure patterns with our harmonic targets once again. So if you've missed the last two shorts, well, then this is now your next best opportunity. Obviously, we were talking about the range. So from taking that short position, if we look at how that range actually went, we had obviously the low of the range around the daily to the monthly. And we can actually see that there was no support found off of that daily. Price just get weight basically went straight through it. And once again, we can see what happened here. If I just remove this temporarily, price went from support into resistance. Okay, really simply support into resistance. So on the way down here, we obviously had our first harmonic, $69,000. Retest of the CC, drop. Retest of support and resistance into the daily, drop. Okay, we were then given a harmonic on eagle time in the initial balance with the, you know, with a harmonic to give us another drop. It broke the range low. And what happened? We back tested the support as resistance. So once again, if you had missed every single short thus far, you were given another short entry here. And price has obviously now made its way down to the daily. And that really brings us up to where we are right now. Okay, so I hope, what was that, 10 minutes, I've, I've taught you through how we've got to this level. It has been a case of flipping support into resistance with mixing it in with some harmonics, mixing it in with, you know, harmonics, Eagle Time, Fibonacci, and SR, SR flips. It's not overly difficult. You know, I, I don't mean to be condescending. It's not overly difficult here if, if you have, you know, a bit of confidence and experience, there's trades to be had. And obviously, we had two major daily levels here. And we can see that they have worked, you know, substantially well, really. After losing the daily level at 57,600, that has now currently flipped into resistance. And I want to show you something very interesting here. From flipping this into resistance, we come down to our lower daily region of support. Okay, and now I show you once again Fibonacci. Take our Fibonacci from the low of this move up to the high. And we see that we back test the daily on the CC with a big move to the upside. So this is where I emphasize, even when you are seeing price moving down really, really quickly, when people generally are very scared, it's still offering long opportunities. Myself, I'm not scared to take this long position at all. You know, I have no fear, no, no scaredness. Why? Because when I'm entering along here, the invalidation is below the low. I know where my stop loss is. I know where I'm wrong. And I know the exact reason why I'm entering. Okay. Higher term time frame level of support onto the CC. It's a very controlled trade. Okay. If you go down and look at the order flow, you have even more confluences down here. Okay. Where do we bounce up to? Well, surprise, surprise. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Where do we bounce up to? Well, the daily, and, and have a guess what the confluence is. Fibonacci from the high down to the low, right into the CC. I mean, this is, this is incredible now. So again, you can sculpt short positions from here. No fear, no, 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 you're not emotionally driven. This is a very thought through way of trading. It's a back test of the daily, or with the CC of, as, as confluence, okay? Invalidation is clear. We can see our targets are very clear. It's just trading what is happening. There's no underlying thoughts in our head of, oh, what about if this happens? What about if that happens? Oh, no, no. You know, all these things that might fly through your head. No, it's just, this is what's happened. Let's take the trade, no? So that, that is our current, current lower term time frame levels of support and resistance. Really simply, we have around the daily and, and, and these two daily levels, which we're currently range bound between. Of course, one expects this to break. You know, this isn't gonna, it's like this range yesterday. You don't expect these ranges to last forever. They are gonna break. And it's like the, the, this daily range here, it is gonna break for sure. <laughs> at, at some point, maybe the, maybe the weekend, maybe even today sort of thing. But we can trade this range until it breaks. Okay, so what, what defines a break of the range? 
well, the, a, a definition of the break of the range would be a, either something like this, where you have a range low and you just go straight through it. That's a break of the range. Or if we break the range and we back test, you know, if we do something like this and break the range high and back test it of support and move up again, that obviously defines a break of the resistance. Likewise, if we lose the support here, back test and move down again, that would obviously be a break of the lower end of support. But what we are generally looking for is if we have confluence, long off the range low, short of the range high. You know, if we had done that and, you know, I, I, I pre-anticipate almost a range before it's even formed, we have already been gifted, you know, a fairly simple long, we've did a fairly simple short position. And so far that would be two trades, two wins. Let's say that we, let's say that we now break out here and we get stopped out the short. Um, you know, we could say that we take one more short, you know, attempt at this and then we, you know, we end with a range break and we have walked away of that with two wins, one loss. You know, both of the wins are bigger than the loss. It's not the end of the world. Yeah? It's just trading, trading the range until it breaks. You don't expect to walk away with 100% win rate, but you do expect to walk away with more, more wins than you do losses. That's the important thing here. So if we now start to look at, okay, if we break this range low, where is our next level of support? Well, we, we have a fairly big gap in price action, to be honest with you. There, there's not massive support all the way down to around, you know, 52K. There, there's not a massive amount of support. This is what I would always say in trading. Of course, um, you know, we can we could find support in this region, 55, 54, $53,000, but there's not massive amounts of support here. So I would play caution, you know, I would personally play cautiously, okay? E.g., if I'm given a lower term time frame setup, I would I would take it. But for me trying to, it's, it's like, you know, the famous saying is of people, buy the dip, everybody starts saying, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. The, the, the problem with buying the dip is, um, it just keeps on dipping so <laughs> you're gonna run out of money so it, it, i would be very cautious let's just say this i would not be trying to buy the dip and buy the dip and buy the dip and buy the dip i, I think this is a bit of a, a, a meme saying almost because why would why would i just do this you know i'm gonna wait for a high probability trade i'm gonna wait for for instance a change in market structure i'm gonna wait for some confirmation i'm gonna wait until these resistances stop getting flipped okay e.g. the support, when we finally flip a resistance into support, then that could be an action. It does mean, yes, you are not going to buy the absolute low. But I think, if, let's say you think Bitcoin's going to $100,000. Does it really make any difference to you whether you buy at $56,000 or you buy after a sign of strength at, say, $62,000? I mean, yes, you're going to miss out on 10%, but you will have saved yourself a lot of pain and suffering of already if you've been trying to buy the dip you know taking you know you're going to walk away with like 10 losses thus far because you're just trying to buy a downtrend you know i would favor trying to short you know i mean i'm i'm able to i would be happy to trade longs and shorts here to be honest with you but if you lack that confidence then you could at least trade with the local trend which is you know looking for the scope shorts uh until you get stopped out and you see that sign of strength and then you could flip and start looking for the longs with a clear invalidation OK, I think that that really is the game changer here. It's it's acknowledging market structure. It's acknowledging signs of strength. OK, so you need to be able to recognize market structure. You need to be able to recognize sign of strength. You need to recognize high probability trades. OK, e.g. that one that we had a few days ago, the harmonic, this is a high probability trade. You know, you're seeing like six factors of confluence. Obviously, price breaks down. So let's say price price hits like fifty four thousand seven hundred. You're not gonna see six factors of confluence. Could price bounce there? Yes, but you're not gonna say it's a high probability bounce level because you don't have that confluence. So it's it's all about being patient. It's all about obviously having a plan. And you know via these videos, I uh, I try my best to give you some actual actionable levels. I'm not here to you know talk about unrealistic targets you know everything that i talk about i feel is totally realistic and is actually actionable you can actually you know use this information to better yourself um so that, that that's the sort of thing that i would be looking for so to, to repeat i think we currently well we, i don't think we actually do we have a local range here if we break to the upside well we can look back up towards that monthly level okay if we break to the downside i would play caution you know i'm, I'm just happily sit in my shorts from higher and wait for 
the market structure change the sign of strength or just wait for for much lower levels where i'd get looked to get involved again it's not to say there won't be any trades to be had here there will be but i wouldn't be just trying to like place limit orders and, and buy the dip so to speak you know I'm, I'm happy to wait for a sign of strength and that's not to say by the way i suppose i'll answer the title of the question do i think the bear market's in well, I suppose for me, it makes no difference if there's a bear market or not. You know, even in a bear market, I, I, I'll happily look for longs. Even in a bull market, yeah, like I said the other day, even in a bull market, I majority of my trades are shorts uh, because I like to protect my capital. I'm, I'm not a bull. I'm not a bear. I'm just a realistic person that trades high probability trades. I, you know, I don't care if I'm long and I don't care if I'm shorting. Totally honest with you. Um, so, yeah, that, that, that's that's basically the way that I'm looking at this chart. And I, and I want to end, actually, with something that for me is really close to my heart. And, and for me is something that's really, really important. Um, you know, and it talks about trading. It talks about like everything in life in general. Like I just really I just feel compelled to talk about this uh, in, in this video. And it really was sparked by yesterday's video testimonials. Oh man, I, I I was I was look from watching these yesterday. I was crying. I was crying from joy and happiness because doing these videos, you know, I I oh man, like the the journey I suppose for myself and for other people has just been like absolutely oh absolutely like mind blowing. The impacts that I sometimes even forget myself that we're having on people is is absolutely incredible. And I just wanted to end this video with basically just saying, just saying thank you and just reminding everybody of the absolute importance of who we are, what we stand for and, and the values that should not change. Um, <laughs> hopefully I don't ramble, ramble on too much about this, but I, I feel it's important. And it's obviously we are in a game of trading money no yeah we're, we're, the whole the whole game oh actually i, I see an inverse head and shoulders uh, this is where my how, how what's the likelihood that we get this then inverse head and shoulders imagine if we get this breakout uh, anyway um <laughs> just saw that in the charts and i couldn't resist it um anyway where was i going yeah we are in a game of trading um you know game the, the trading is all about making money and uh it's one of these things that you know you can be viewed as a bit of a of a bad person talking about money and focused on money and um you know it gets love and hate but um I, I i think that what is really important to remember yes we all strive for financial freedom like you are likely watching these videos because you you know maybe you hate your job you you want to change your life you know you're, you're searching for something better and in that case you know i, I tip my hat to you and I'm, I'm more than happy to help but if you achieve that or once you achieve this and you have that money. I think what is really, really, really important to remember is to stay true to yourself, stay true to your values and not get this over inflated ego. And I know this, I get a lot of comments. Oh, Daniel's so egotistical, you know, uh, he's such a bragger. He, he loves talking about his trades and I'm not going to deny this. I, I do feel, I would say very proud of my trades. You know, it takes a lot of time and effort to do this. Um, so yes, I do talk about my trades, but I wouldn't, I personally, and, I, and people that have met me in real life, you know, I don't think would refer to me as an egotistical person. I'm very, I, I would like to think of myself as very selfless. But um, I just wanted to end this with with a reminder of, you know, after like seeing this and, and the impact that we have and some of the comments, like, 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 like this comment, white, black, yellow, green, big, small, young, old, rich, poor, impaired or healthy everybody is respected why because we have one goal to become a better trader together we rock the charts have a great day and thank you or another comment like lee <laughs> you know we are just a crypto family we are just here to assist each other and you know we might think where am i going with this where i'm going with this is because i i have seen like firsthand you know some people are recently saying oh daniel stop picking on the moon boys uh you know, left, right and center, you know, I mean, some people are not really liking this. And you, first of all, you have to remember it's a joke. You know, it's, at the end of the day, it's a lighthearted joke. I'm not trying to personally, I'm not personally attacking anyone. I kind of don't like their business practice or whatever, but, you know, it's not meant to be a personal attack on anybody, far from it. But I have seen firsthand in person, you know, you know, when I was in, in Dubai, like how, not all of them, of course, but some of these people act 
um, you know, we were at a restaurant and to see the way that some moon boys will talk down on people such as staff and and i think we're we're in 2021 and i think that some people have a self-inflated ego by the amount of followers they have or the amount of money that they have and i feel this is just really 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 bad and of course yes we are in a game of making money but to let that change you is the number one worst thing that you could do and for me to see like firsthand um you know people talking down to to staff at a restaurant because they think that they're better than somebody else for me you know i personally got up <laughs> apologized to the waiter and, and and left and i know i'm not liked <laughs> by these people and i'm don't i'm not here to be friends with them really um because i think that we have to stand up for values we have to stand up for what we believe in yeah because if we don't stand up for what we believe in then why why are we here and i just think overall the where i'm going with this is 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 emphasizing this message and 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 saying i absolutely love you all and saying i think that we have to hold our values close to our heart we have to we have to just say this it does not matter whether today you're struggling whether this week you've lost a lot of money whether today you feel at the absolute low pits of the earth, you know, whether, you, you know, I will always say this, treat yourself with respect, treat others with respect, treat everybody equally. We are not better than anyone else. I, I made these videos originally to one person and I was happy to make YouTube videos for one person watching. Yeah. It makes no difference to me whether I have one subscriber or 100,000 subscribers. For me, this 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 number does not impact us. This number is totally irrelevant to... It is so irrelevant, but I think some people have this inflated self-worth because of how many followers they are. It's just totally irrelevant. The amount of money that you have does not make you a better person, okay? And for me, I just feel really, really, really strongly about this because some people really let money change them. Yeah, they, they, you know, just trying to brag, just trying to say, hey, look how much money I have. Look at this that I bought. Look at this that I bought. And then just treating other people bad. I don't know. For me, just feels it just comes off as, as very ugly and uh, just not really a fan of this. But anyway, um, <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've, I've rambled on way longer than what I thought I was going to ramble on for. And I apologize for this. But the, basically, the, the overall message that I wanted to end with was. Let's just treat each other with love. Let's just treat each other with with respect and warmth. And whether you are at the very lows today, just remember. Everybody, including myself, we will go through lows. Yeah, no, not everything in life is is good and, and happy. Yeah? We, we have to go through lows, um, you know. You might struggle with mental health issues. You might struggle with depression. You might struggle with many different things. You know, I would always say talk to friends and family. With some people have said, well, they don't have any friends. They don't have any family. Well, then we as a community should come together and help each other, no? So whether you have no friends and family, you can make friends and family within our Chart Champions community. I truly believe this. And I will openly say, like, some of my best friends are now from chart champions like people that i have met online with just a connection and love of trading 100 percent. like you can make friends and family here for sure because i have and other people have and like reading these messages was just like a real a real warmth in my heart of reminding myself this and just i don't know for me it was special so yeah i i really apologize for talking too long <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to say that. Uh, love everybody. You never know what somebody else is going through. So just don't look down on anybody else. Whether you have all the money in the world, it does not make you any better or any worse than anybody else. Use your time and money well, you know, and make the world a better place, I suppose. And I don't mean to be, you know, I'm just trying to, uh, I don't know. I'm going to end before I get myself into trouble, I suppose. I'm just going to say thank you ever so much. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. I've talked you through how we have traded this, how we will look to trade this into the future. And if we get this inverse head and shoulders, if we get the breakup, the next levels of resistance and support that we can be looking towards. Um, so yeah, I suppose thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. 
Oh, and I will have to end with this, I suppose. No financial advice. This video is only for your entertainment and education. With that said, thank you ever so much. Have a good day. And I suppose maybe see you over in, in, in the Discord. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Cheers. <laughs>